Hey guys, I wanted to demonstrate a few things with swgoh.gg. This is a website I was just talking about in the Discord chat. It's very helpful. Um, you can look through all the characters that they have, type in, hey, you're not sure what CLS stands for, type in CLS. Look at that, Commander Luke Skywalker. It's just a good resource. You can look at characters, ships, character stats, ship stats, abilities, meta report. The meta report is interesting. Um, if you're not sure what meta stands for, what I've heard is most effective tactic available. So this is going to show you uh, for all the rank one leaders what they're running. So, you know, 1485 are leading with Jedi Training Ray. And further breakdown down here and you keep scrolling and then they show full squads of what the highest combination is um, so if you're looking for things you know this is showing just the top one for each of the shard which is your arena group uh, you can break it to be the top you know one through ten or one through a hundred just to see you know where you might fall but the most valuable thing you can do is if you come up here, right here, to Sync, Collection Sync. You want to click on that. And if you don't have an account already, come down here, click on Create an SWGOH.GG account. Or for me, I'm going to log in. Go ahead and log in. My internet is being very slow right now, which is obnoxious. All right. So now, up in the top right corner, you'll have your your center now. And the convenient thing why we want everybody in the guild to do it is if you scroll down in there, you can see I'd buy that for a dollar. If you go to that. We can get an overview of our guild. So, you know, just at a snapshot, what are galactic power, average galactic power, a bunch of things that are, you know, semi meaningless, but they're there. So, we can see everybody here who already has set up an SWGOH account. Uh, you can see their galactic power. They have a collection score, arena rank, arena average. Now, the useful stuff is you can over here on the left side you can do a unit search so right now you know we want to know who has Kylo Ren at seven stars I can go ahead and type in Kylo pick Kylo Ren and I can see Okay, so these people have them at seven stars. The level, what the gear level is at, and the power. And based off of that, I can assume Kima has Zedud. Lone Star and Ben might have it Zedud. So you can also come over here on the side again and look at the Zedas and get a snapshot of every Zeta in the guild. So we can see I have six Zetas, Ben's got six, Lone Star five, yada yada yada. Um, and we can, it can help us as we try to strategize particularly for the heroic AAT raid that we're wanting to launch. So it's just a kind of a tool to see where you're at. You can build a squad template. I haven't really messed around with that at all, but hey, you can. Uh, so once you have this account, um, it's very helpful then if you're if you come up and you look in your oh sorry I got to go back to me here. So this isn't the same for everybody. It's not necessarily you know your character your profile name that you sign up with is this link. But you see so Josh one five nine right here. 
so if I take that now and I come over to this other website, which I'll leave a link in the description of this video, you can use that right in this spot. You type in that character name. So Josh159 for me. Now it's pulling in all the data from swgoh.gg and man this internet is slow and it's going to kind of rank my squads so these are all popular squads that have been submitted um, for various events so right now I'm looking at the heroic rancor this is for P1 phase 1 P2 phase 2 and uh, actually it's just going up against the Rancor. And then it's got this Solo the Rancor. So these are all recommended squads for soloing the Rancor. Purple means you need a Zeta on there. Um, so these are just suggested squads uh, but they're a good starting point um, for getting ready for various pieces. Come down further, you got Tank Takedown the AAT normal. And if you go down further, this is what we're focusing on now is the heroic. So you can go through phase one and look at these different squads and see, okay, so I'm with Isla, I'm only at a seven, Jedi Knight Anakin five, and Gundy seven, Qui-Gon four, Ahsoka seven. You can just see a good snapshot of what squads am I close with? Which one should I invest in? Like over here, you know, I don't even have Barris, so that's not going to be a good one to work at. Um, so they've got all of these. This is the one, Dathka. That's I'm going to start leveling up, working on the gear uh, for Dathka, and then I'll have a, a decent squad for P1, P2, P3. Going through all these, I just zated my Savage, so he'll be ready for that. P4, so you get the gist of what this is doing. Now the fun thing is it also does this for each of the um, legendary events. So for getting Thrawn, it ranks your characters the same way it does with the other things to tell you, you know, how close are you to being ready for these events. So that's the one, you know. Aside from Heroic AAT, that's what I'm working on right now. I want to get Thrawn the next time around. I've got Emperor Palpatine, so I don't need to focus on this one anymore. I've already got Yoda. Don't need to focus on that. BB-8 is the other one I'm working on. Um, I've got, although it doesn't show it here because I haven't promoted him to six stars, I've got First Order Stormtrooper at six. And almost ready for that one already have R2, got CLS, and so then there's Jedi Training Ray, which as you can see I'm not even close. So this website is helpful to kind of figure out what squads you want to focus on, which ones you want to build up for the heroic tank raid, which is what we're really trying to focus on as a guild. But all of that is only available if you have your swgoh.gg account set up. When you set up your account, you got to make sure in the sync area. So once, uh, you know, as you're going through getting it all set up, you got to make sure you put in your ally code. Your ally code, as you can see, you click on allies and it's the code that's right up there in the top corner. Um, so you need that code in there. Uh, and then most importantly, you need your player code. Um, and your player code is if you click on the settings gear up in the top left corner of, your, of the game, the player ID, that long thing, it is case sensitive. You gotta put that in there and then you'll be able to sync up your account here. Go ahead and make your profile public. Um, 
your player ID is always private, so you don't really have to worry about that, except now mine is visible to y'all, but don't do anything with that. Uh, so that's about it. One other thing I forgot to mention before, another reason why swgoh.gg is helpful is for mods. Right now, the in-game function for dealing with mods is horrendous. Um, and so, every mod that is on a character is accounted for in this mod manager. So, all of your mods are going to show up here, four pages of mods. For me, if you are looking for something in particular, you can click on the filters and pick exactly what you're looking for out of all of your mods. You can then for their primary stat, you can select what you're looking for, looking what you're looking for in the secondary stats. Very helpful for if you're trying to figure out, you know, hey, do what is my best speed mod in a primary stat? can apply that filter and I can see that I only have two speed mods uh, as a primary stat. Um, one's a 21, one's a 17. I see one's on Rex. I don't use Rex a ton so maybe I should look at moving them over to CLS. That would be a better use for it. Or if I come back up here I can change that and look at all my secondary speed mods. And what I find is that I've got a 15 over on Nilus, Nilus, 14 over on Dooku. So it's just, you're able to look at each of, an aggregate of all of your mods and plan out where you might want to move some mods. I know when I get ready for the Thrawn event, I'm probably going to have to move a bunch of mods from my regular characters over to my Phoenix squad, go ahead and get Thrawn, and then move all of those mods back. This will help me as I figure out who I'm going to take them away from, where they need to go, and all that stuff. So this this is probably one of the biggest reasons why SWGOH is helpful to the individual player, um, but then again at a guild level it's helpful for um, all the officers to be able to uh, kind of plan out stuff. Kima's making a pretty good hit list for the tank and what phases everybody's going to go in, which is great. And then, um, you know, we, we just have a good sight into it. And then also, if you ever have questions about your own characters and what you should be doing, you know, you can throw up your, your link um, or just a question and people can go to your to your page, like I can go look at Otis and see his characters, um, and you know I see that hey, he, his character, you know, for whatever reason, I can see his character is really good. So I can look specifically at his uh, Darth Vader and see how he's modded. Um, that's not something we're really able to see in the game, so I'm able to look and see what all of his different mods are promoting and what they're bumping up. Um, and you know, I can see that. Oh yeah, he, he's got them all. He's got it zated. So it's just helpful um, from that respect too. So that's why uh, we recommend you get on SWGOH. Um, it's good for us as a guild to just kind of be able to take a better snapshot into into the available characters for each of the phases of the heroic pit raid or heroic uh, ATT. Um, so that's all. Thanks for watching.